Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and this is a 69 Chevelle. It's got a big block under the hood and it's got a manual transmission, black interior, beautiful restoration. You're gonna love checking this one out. Let's take a look. The grill is beautiful. The chrome is gorgeous. Look at those lines on the hood and the paint job on it. Man, it is straight as can be. And this red paint, Man, it is popping, looking sweet. Black pinstriping looking good. Love the wheels. We got BFGs wrapped around those beautiful wheels. And check out this interior. Bucket seats, center console. Love the steering column, the steering wheel. It's got a tilt column in it. She is a beauty inside. We got seat belts in the front and in the rear. It looks like there's three seat belts in the back. I see some six by nine speakers in the back. Headliners stretch nice and tight. Looks like the dome lights working in there. That five speed shifter there in the center console. Dash pads looking good. The dash gauges are looking good. There's a three pack of gauges there underneath the dash. She's one sweet machine right here. Quarter panel, straight as can be. That black accent going down the side, man, just makes that red paint pop. The trims around the tail lights looking sweet. That chrome on that back bumper looking good. Inside the trunk, we got a cover, a spare tire. Looks like the jack's in there. Got good looking paint on the bottom side of the deck lid. All the paintwork here in the gutter system around the opening looks good. All the rubber looks good. These are all things you need to be looking at when you're looking at one of these cars. Look at that vinyl top too. Vinyl top is beautiful. When you look down the side of this car, she is straight as an arrow. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this car, so you can bet. We spent some time and checked it out before we bought it. Then the first thing we do when we get them here is check them out up on the lift so we can answer every one of your questions when you call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So call him anytime he will answer all your questions. And if you want any close-up pictures of anything, he'll get those for you too. Now, I've been in the business for about 35 years, and I'm using all of that experience every day to help you put your dream in your driveway. Chevelle time, five speed. Listen to that exhaust, man. She sounds awesome. That's one of the best things about driving a car with a stick is making that exhaust talk. I tell you what, this thing sounds amazing. Looks good, sounds good, beautiful restoration. And I tell you what, if this dart doesn't get out of my way, we're gonna run over it. Maybe we can scare it out of our way. <laughs> now here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this car anywhere in the world. We're going around. <laughs> anyway, we can ship this baby anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will explain how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. You can pass a couple of darts yourself. <laughs> now look down here on the dash. 
We've got the tack here on the center console. We've got um, actually the um, steering console. We've got the uh, speedo working over here. We got a three pack of gauges down here. We got an aftermarket radio here. We got a new dash pad. I'll tell you what, the car is amazing. And of course, she's got plenty of power. Sounds amazing. And if you need help with financing, we can help you out with financing too. Tom will take care of all the paperwork for you. And we ship about 95% of our cars sight unseen, but we do invite you to come on in and check them out in person. As a matter of fact, we encourage you to come on in and check them out in person. If you want to send an inspector, no problem. Send your inspector and we'll treat your inspector just like we treat you. Now here we are at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. We have well over 200 cars in stock, so make sure you give us a call. Let us know you're coming in. And we are about to do something nobody else in the industry does. We're going to put this car on the lift, and then we're going to open the hood up and see what's making that music coming out of those tailpipes. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1969 Chevelle. Now, Greg, I actually had to take a step out of the shop here, so I'm going to be finishing this video with you guys. So the underside of this car is very, very nice, very tasteful. Uh, moving forward here, you can see it looks like the gas tank um, looks to probably have been replaced at one point, not super recent. It does have a paint job on it. Um, they did paint the, the straps independent of the tank. They have isolators in there, all good stuff to see. Moving forward to that, I'd like to start pointing out here, we do have a mantle vent exhaust on this. Uh, very looks like a fairly sizable tubing on it. Like I said, ni nice mandrel bends all the way forward. All the welds look nice and pretty. Um, just below that here, we have a GM 12 bolt rear end, uh, 355 to one gear ratio, posi of course. Um, now we have drum brakes on either side of it here in Vanguard. We are drum brake people. We know how those are supposed to together or supposed to go together, and we uh, of course make sure that they're together properly for you. Um, the rear end is actually probably a 1970 model year, from what I can tell for the casting date, but it is actually out of a Chevelle, which is cool to see. Um, if we didn't already mention it, we do have uh, aftermarket upper arms on this thing, fully adjustable. Um, as far as the lower arms go, we have the reinforcing plates all installed, which is what these uh, the sportier ones did have. Looks like we do have uh, coil springs, look like they've been replaced on it as well. Moving forward of all of that. Um, back to the exhaust, we have a set of Flowmaster mufflers on it. These are the long, uh, the long chamber ones here. I think these are 50 series, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure someone will correct me if they know. Uh, moving forward of all of that, exhaust continuing to look good. Um, this section here does not appear to be mandrel but it's still very big, uh, very big tubing. Um, another cool thing about this here is you can see that we've actually had a uh, TKO 600 five-speed auto, or excuse me, manual transmission installed in this, and they've actually uh, clearanced the uh, transmission cross member here to make room for the bigger pipes. Uh, brand new brake line and fuel line going all the way back. All good stuff to see. Looks like a new drive shaft. Looks like a little bit beefier drive shaft, which would make sense. They would have had to change that when they changed the transmission over. Hydraulic clutch. Uh, you can see they got the nice bra braided lines that are going in here. So all this right here is all modernized. Big primary tubes on the headers. Look good stuff to see. And uh, we're going to get to a couple points on this engine here in a second. The guy kind of did this thing upright. KYB gas adjust rock, uh, shocks here in the front. Uh, I protested these big time. These are very good shocks. See here, front suspension, I'm seeing Moog. Moog. Moog parts all the way through here, which is all good stuff to see. And of course, we check everything out. Um, you know, we actually have mechanics go and take all the load off of everything, shake everything down, make sure it's all good for you guys. Power steering, which is another good thing to see here. Everything looks nice. Sway bar looking good. Uh, looks like it's got aftermarket bushings and the little uh, straps on there as well. Looks like a billet uh, accessory drive here, poking out here from the bottom, aftermarket fuel pump. Disc brakes on the front, we come around to the side here. Looks like uh, BF Goodrich Radial TA tires, 215.70 R15 for the size. Good looking American Racing 5-spoke mag. Like I said, disc brakes in the front. Come on around to the back here. Looking at that nice pinch weld all the way down here. No, uh, no dings, doesn't look like anyone's tried to jack the car up on it, like I said. You've got the definition of the spot welds all the way through there, which means low filler, which is something I like to see. Now, uh, in the rear here, we got a little bit more meat. 255 60 R15s, same good looking American Racing five spoke mag, drum brakes behind it, white letters out as it should be, all the trims looking good. I mean, overall, really nice car. Now we get to look at the big block Chevy under the hood. All right, guys, under the hood here, it's actually looking really beautiful. We got a 454 big block Chevy there. 
Um, now, the previous owner has built this thing up to be over uh, the horsepower rating of a factory LS6 back in the day. So what he's done here is he's got a set of aftermarket pistons in it. If I'm not mistaken, they're 60 over. We do have a set of Merlin uh, heads on this thing. Um, yeah, World Products Merlin iron heads. Atop or in between those two here, we got the Lillibrock Performer 2.0. Um, on top of that, we got a 750 CFM Holly 4 barrel. That uh, carburetor has down leg boosters. Um, it's a mechanical secondary carburetor. And electric choke it does have as well. Nice uh, fuel rail on it as well. Um, on top of that here, we got just a factory looking air cleaner. Uh, set of nice chrome valve covers on it. Uh, now, as you heard me mention underneath, mention underneath here, we do have a set of uh, billet pulleys on it as well. Uh, power brakes, if I didn't already mention it. If you look over here, here is our reservoir for our hydraulic clutch. Um, and then over here, we got MSD running the ignition here. We got a 6AL, L stands for limiter, so it does have a rev limiter on it. MSD blaster 3 coil. If I'm not mistaken, they probably topped it all off. Yes, they did with a MSD uh, distributor. All good stuff to see. Um, and outside of all the performance stuff, and of course, nice braided line, I had to get one more in there. Um, <clears throat> everything looks to be really, really nice in here just from a nice restoration uh, perspective. So we do have, uh, looks like really well done um, inner fenders. On that side, same thing. They even put like little aprons in here, which is all good stuff to see. It looks like brand new bushings in the front end. Um, of course, brand new master booster. Uh, looking at the underside of the hood here, this is another nice touch here. They actually have the insulation or the padding under here. Underside of the hood looks to be painted just as nice as the outside of the car. Uh, this little, uh, I guess, radi radiator support panel here looks like it's all chromed up real nice. Chrome radiator cap, aftermarket fan on it, brand new battery, hold down's doing its job, battery cable's looking good, aftermarket set of wires on it, aftermarket even dipstick. So that all being said, guys, if you'd like to have this monster parked in your driveway, and you know what, I would invite you to come Make an appointment with Tom so you can come in and drive it. This thing cruises on the freeway just fine with its 355 gear ratio, TKO 600 overdrive, manual transmission. Come in and drive it, make an appointment. Call Tom with the number below and links. Let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dream in your driveway.